Hi, I'm Michael Frudenberg and this is Film Masters. I'd like to make a big thank you to Haydar Thomas Perry. You are number one, our very first Film Masters subby. So congratulations, this tutorial, my friend, is for you. And this is what we're gonna be making today. In this episode, we're gonna be making the filmation animation that you see at the very beginning of the 1980s He-Man cartoon. We'll be using Adobe's Photoshop and After Effects, kind of like Batman and Robin. You know, they work pretty well together. Now, also down in the description area is a font called Ankle Pants. It's free, make sure you install it before you begin this tutorial. Now let's get to it. Now part of this tutorial, uh, we've supplied Ankle Pants. Now Ankle Pants is font. Now if we just simply have a look at the creator, I'd like to uh, give a big yell out to Ray Larrabee. Now Ray is the creator of this font. Um, obviously he's got all these uh, terms conditions here um, as part of the zip file. So if you're interested and you want to make a donation to him, feel free to do so. Um, anything as he states here, um, he's happy with. Um, it is freeware, so it means that uh, you can use it uh, for all your products and projects. Now to install it, it's just simply a matter of selecting the file and selecting install. Once you've done that, it will then uh, incorporate itself into all of your uh, products that use font. So you will see it in Photoshop, After Effects and the other Word document that you've got. Now, let's get on with the project. First thing we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna check out what the logo looks like from Filmation, and we're gonna replicate that in Photoshop. So the first thing we're gonna do is go new project, and we're just gonna name the project Filmation. Under presets, I'm gonna go down to film and video, and then select the size in which I want the output. I'm gonna make it uh, HDV 1080p. When it comes up, just press Control H to get rid of the guides. Select the paint bucket tool. I'm gonna to make it black, the background. I'm gonna use the uh, text tool and uh, select ankle pants. Ankle pants is the uh, font that's in the description below that you can download and uh, install onto your PC. I'm just selecting the area now where I'm going to uh, enter the font and I'm gonna use white. And just simply write in whatever it is that you want to write in there. I'm just gonna put film masters we're not actually making a filmation, but we're gonna make it similar. Now, I resize the text for a reason, because when I go to free transformed and scale it, it allows me to scale it up within its limits, like so. Once we've got it to the size that we want, next thing we're gonna do is just have a look at the uh, filmation logo again and have a look at the colors. You don't have to make the colors exactly the same, however, I'm going to make them fairly similar. So I'm going to select each uh, bit of the text and just change the color of each one. Now to do that, obviously I've got the uh, text tool selected and I'm going into each one and then simply highlighting it and then selecting the color picker and choosing which color I want to transform the image to. So let's go through and do that to each one. Now you've sort of got the idea, so we're gonna jump across now. Um, you don't have to watch me do the whole uh, lot of it. So I'm just gonna jump straight down to the end. There we go. Uh, I'm just gonna change the last letter uh, to uh, uh, yellow. So I'm just gonna finish that off. And the next thing we're gonna do is going to uh, generate a brand new layer. And then we're gonna select the layer and the text. Then go up to layers and we're gonna merge those two together. Now the reason we do that is so we can start to edit them. Next I'm going to press Z on the keyboard or use the zoom in tool. And then we're just going to go up to the polygon lasso tool. And we're just going to go and start to cut out the letters. So I'm just going to go around the edge of each one and just cut them out. Similar to what's in the logo of the Filmation logo. Obviously film is solid, but the uh, last part of it is uh, a little bit different in, in a way that it's been cut out so because of the fact that we've merged both layers together we can now go in there and uh, start to cut out each uh, letter like so now if you want to make sure that the uh, the line is straight if you hold the shift key down 
on the keyboard that will allow you to get a nice straight line. Now, obviously that doesn't work for angles, um, but it does if you're going into straight lines. And once you've done that, just double click and it'll finish off the lasso and press delete. And there you have uh, the center of the text deleted like so. So I'm just gonna keep on having a look at the uh, Filmation logo just for reference. As you can see, looking at the A, and now we're gonna duplicate that. So I'll simply go in and do the same thing again. Obviously, you gotta make sure that the text layer has been selected, uh, which you can see on the right-hand side, uh, called layer one. Now, don't forget, you can go in there and change the name of the layer, um, but for this tutorial, I'm not gonna do that. So as you can see, I'm just going in there and just uh, cutting out the center of the text and uh, obviously deleting it like so. There is a little bit uh, that's been cut out that I've missed. So I'm just gonna go in there and just cut that bit out like so. So when I zoom back out again, it'll look the same as the original. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna speed up the actual workflow now. Uh, you don't need to uh, obviously see how each and every individual letter um, has been done. Um, I'm sure you're smart enough to pick that information up yourself. Um, I'm just gonna speed through this now um, and we'll get to the end uh, ready for the next step. Okay, I've just jumped through to the end. I'm just gonna finish cutting out the S, as you can see. And once we've done that, the next step we're going to jump through to is to select the black solid layer that's underneath the text. So we're gonna select that, and we're gonna delete it. And then we're gonna go up to File, Save As, Leave it as a PSD, call the file whatever you want and find a location to save it and then press save. The next thing in the animation is we're gonna uh, make the lens flare. So again, we're gonna go file, new. I'm gonna call this uh, flash. And again, we're gonna go into the, uh, the video presets, select okay. Control H gets rid of the guides. I'm uh, going to make it black again. So let's select black. We're going to go up to uh, filters, render, and lens flare. Now we want to center the lens flare. You can adjust the brightness as well on the slider below. And then select OK when you're happy with it. Next, I'm going to select the brush tool because I want to make the center of it a little bit more brighter. I'm going to make it white. Select feathered brush adjust the slider, or you can use the uh, open and close colon brackets on your keyboard to uh, adjust the size like so. I'm just going to uh, select it twice and then use the smudge tool now. And obviously using the open closed colon brackets on my keyboard, I can readjust the brush area. But what I'm gonna do is just fan it out a little bit like so to make it look more similar to the animation logo lens flare. Once we're happy with that, I'm just going to go uh, and crop it because we want to get rid of any work area in which we're not going to be using and also assist in reducing the file size. And then we're going to go file save as. I'm going to call this flash animation. Find the uh, folder location which you want to save it into. Save it as a PSD and select save. Now that we've done all that in Photoshop, we're going to be moving into After Effects. Now over to After Effects, we're going to uh, import both those files that we uh, created before. And uh, I'm just going to select the logo and just drop it into uh, the comp to make a new layer. And just check the composition settings. Yep, they're exactly how we saved them. Select OK. Next we're going to do is we're going to mask around the letters using the mask tool in After Effects. And uh, now I'm just gonna select M and then uh, drop down the mask presets and uh, select mask position and that will allow us to then animate it. So I'm just gonna uh, make sure that I bring the slider all the way back 
uh, so it covers up the text like so and that sets our first keyframe move it forward a little bit and then adjust it all the way to the end and then I'm going to uh, play that and see what it looks like it's a bit slow so let's go down and just simply uh, adjust uh, the speed of the actual animation like so I'm happy with that next let's bring in the uh, lens flare and we're going to drop that onto the composition we're going to scale it now let's bring it down a little bit like so and position it now I'm going to uh, change the transfer mode to screen now that's the reason why we uh, made sure that the background layer was black so that when we screened the actual uh, lens flare. I'm going to select T now for opacity and uh, I'm going to set a keyframe and I'm going to bring that down to zero. Now using the uh, keys page down and page up to allow us to jump forward and backwards on the timeline, it's going to simply go in and move the lens flare now and adjust it to full then jump to the next one and bring it back down to zero again now we're going to keep doing that all the way through until we get to the end so again move it one keyframe to the next to zero then bring it back to 100% and then back to zero again we're going to go all the way through to the end so I'm going to speed this up now, 500%, all the way through to the end. Now, like I was saying before, it's just simply keyframing it. And what we're doing is we're simply covering over the text as it appears. And now that we'll get to the end of it, we're just going to uh, now play the animation and see what it looks like on the timeline. So bring it all the way back to the beginning and press the space bar. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now it's going to uh, get the text tool again and it's going to put presents at the bottom because that's what it has on the Filmation logo. You can go in and change the font type here on the right hand side and adjust the scale of it as well. Next thing we're going to do uh, once we've done that um, is just adjust when presents appears. So we're just going to adjust the slider like so. So when we uh, play the animation, it appears at the end. Next, we're going to go up and we're going to select layer, new, solid. Make sure it's the comp size. Make sure it's pure black. Select OK. And uh, we're going to press T for the opacity. Keyframe it. Bring it down to zero. Press the space bar for about two, three seconds. And then adjust it up to 100%. I'm going to select N now to cut down the work space and press the space bar to watch the logo. And when we're happy with it, let's press Control M and this will bring up the render queue. Then we're going to go to output modes, select the format drop down. I'm selecting H264, select format options. Now I'm going to adjust the bitrate settings. We can use a slider like so, or we can actually go in there and uh, change the value. Now I'm going to change both values to 30. Now that's pretty high, um, but it will give us a nice high resolution image. If you have audio, make sure you select audio output. Just leave it the same and uh, select OK. It's going to select output 2 now. Uh, name the file whichever you would like to call it and put it into the file location of your choice and select save. Once you've done that, Let's select render and we can render the video out. And there's that lovely sound that we want to hear of the render queue finishing. And here is the end product of all our hard work. Now, if you want to become a Film Master subby, guys, it's pretty simple. You simply subscribe to the channel. It's simple as that. Like our videos, share the videos if you'd like. Make sure though, most of all, we want your comments. We really need the content. So put your comments below. Tell us what you want to see next. We'll happily put that together for you. Now, we're also located on Twitter and we're also located on Facebook. So if you've got a Facebook page, like the page and that way you'll be able to see all the videos as they're released like a menu, I guess, in some ways. 
And as always, don't just film it, master it.